Okay. Welcome to the show. We like to get right into it because today we're about business, business, business. Um, but oh, honey, and um, so this is called Bubbly. Um, let's just hear a little bit so we can. Uh... I've been awake for a while wow, now. Tuck you in like a child now. Okay. Hold in. I love this song. Yes. Now, okay. I, I will admit, this is going to be really hard to, to top uh, or even come close to topping Kobe Kelly or whatever her name is. Because she's got such a unique voice. It's so perfect for this. But we're going to sit back. We're going to enjoy. But Honey Ann, you are a preacher. Can you give us a little, uh, come back to the video, please, and tell us just a little uh, dude message of hope? Well, you know, times have been tough. And everybody's struggled and everybody's had losses. But, you know, I think it's a blessing that, that we're here, that we've made it through on the other side, you know. And what a blessing it is that we're, we were born, you know, to be here and, and witness all these things take place, with, you know. So, so never quit. Just continue on. Continue on like little engine that could. I think I can. I know I can. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Okay. I Wow. I That's happy. And but I'm also like, it makes me kind of take a step back and, uh, and kind of look over everything in my life and, uh, and um, respect, you know, yeah. reflect and, and respect, reflect, yeah. respect, appreciate, and love. Yeah. I love you guys. I do that. If you are a fan of Gigi Delano, like and subscribe because we will see that and then we'll be like, Whoa, they really want to hear more Gigi. So we're going to do more Gigi. Um, also, guys, um, you know, forget about me. I'm just here. But, um, you know, give give my co-host some love. Uh, you know, they they could be anywhere in the world right now, but they're here with me. And I appreciate that. Here we go. You got me feeling like a child. Well, let's start over. Let's go. Out of your toes. I've been awake for a while now. You got me feeling like a child now. Cause every time I see a bubble face I get the tingles in a sailor place It starts in my toes and I think of my nose Wherever we go, I always know Well, she's got it down where I'm singing along, so that's a good sign. So, honey, and the cool thing about Gigi Yolanda is she, uh, she always has a full band with her. And she lets the band shine. She's really, really just a cool unique person yeah this is a song that you can't you can't help but to sing along to it's, it's so song. hard and uh, yeah. <laughs> now that that's I don't why have... i'm muted I, i'm muted so i can sing <laughs> I, that's a very smart idea i uh luckily yeah, yeah. i don't have those uh soundproof headphones anymore where i'm like blaring my stupid voice out <laughs> Make me smile, please stay for a while now Just stay your time wherever you go The rain is falling on my window pane But we are hiding in a safer place Undercover, staying dry and warm You give me feelings that I don't start in my toes Make me cling on my nose Wherever it goes, I always know you make me smile, please stay for a while. Marcus, she's like uh, just kind of humming this song. Like she has such a powerful big voice. Maybe she's excited that she can just kind of sing a song where she can just kind of be a kid and enjoy it. Seems like she's doing that because you've heard her just go crazy with the powerfulness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm hmm. Thanks. <laughs> Now, just take a time wherever you go. What am I gonna say? When you make me feel this way, I think she's building and building. That's why she was so kind of monotone at the start. Maybe. I just. Mm. Stars in my toes make me cool from my nose. Wherever we go, I always know. And you make me smile, please stay for a while now. Just take a 
I like when she smiles and looks at the camera. I think she needs to do that more. Thoughts? I agree. Yeah. Honey? Yeah. Um, well, a lot, a lot of these singers, you know, they, they're so into their music that they, I don't know, they, they tend to, uh, you know, draw into themselves. So they shut their eyes, like she's doing there. They shut their eyes and they don't realize the importance, you know, of, you know, communicating or connecting with your audience. So, yeah, it would be better if she yeah, had her eyes well, open. Yeah, but with a wow. song like this, but with a happy song like this, you got to smile. <laughs> Right, Especially exactly. With the it's it's, like it's, called, it's yeah. called bubbly, right? It's called bubbly, right? Right, I mean, right. Yes, she wasn't bubbly. Yeah, right. I mean, it would be better if her eyes were open and she was connecting with our audience and smiling, smiling and being yeah. cute. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, but she's so but she's just drawing into herself into the music, you know, and it happens. You see it all the time. Maybe she's tired. Who knows? you <laughs> <laughs> go. Wherever, wherever, wherever you go. Get a smile. Wherever you go, <laughs> I always know. As you make me smile, even just for a while. So me, me and Marcus get a lot of hate. Love. <laughs> Like, but also, 25. but also, let me just say this. But also, she's an actress in the Philippines, also. So, so I want you to choose this song, uh, Honey Ann. Uh, okay. Oh, Wonder Wall it. You got, you got I like that. See. You, you have to call them out to me because I can't see them. They're too Would small. You, how about screen. Wonder Wall by Oasis? Okay. Oh, I never no, no, heard no. Of that, but I heard you don't know okay. Wonder Wall. Okay, I'm gonna, wait a minute. Wait, let me go off camera and I'm going to look. Hang on. I have um, to hear the song. I don't know. Megan Trainer, Me Too, Sam Smith, I'm Not the Only One, um, Nora Jones, Ed Sheeran, Thinking Out Loud. I don't remember. Oh, Sailing. How about Sailing? You see Sailing? I don't know Sailing. That's Christopher Cross. You know Christopher Cross, man? Um, no. <laughs> but we're, we're recording yeah, right yeah. now, so we need oh, to yeah. decide. You know Christopher Cross? Uh, yes, I do. Um, I, I know Sailing by Christopher Cross. Uh, that one yeah. that says, If You're Ever in My Arms Again, that one. That one may be a good one too. Yeah, but sailing's beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing sailing. Yeah, well, you you passed it. You have to go away. back. You have to go back. Oh, all by myself. Um, okay. So it's right there. It's right there. You see sailing. Okay, right you got you both know sailing? Yes. Let's do sailing. <laughs> I don't know sailing. Okay. You guys want to be here for the first time. You're gonna love it. Hopefully she's not tired. <laughs> I like it already. I know this. Well, it's not far down paradise at least it's not for me and if the wind is right you can sail away and find tranquility oh the canvas can do miracles just you wait and see believe Her voice is so just pure and just 
perfect in this song. It's so much better than, bu than bubbly. So far, so good, guys. Yeah, I like I like when she sings ballads like this. You know, it's beautiful. Absolutely, that's where she shines. Yeah, really, she does. And, and if the wind is right, you can find the joy of innocence again. Oh, the canvas can do miracles. Just you wait and see. a beautiful person inside and out Fantasy, it gets honey you're meeting Gigi I think for the first time yes yes yeah I love her voice it's really it's like an angel it's beautiful and having that band there is just like Gigi, the band there for every cover yes Marcus no 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 I was just clearing my voice oh okay <laughs> Clearing my throat, bro. Stop me when I'm sailing. All caught up in a reverie. What's a reverie? A reverie, guys? What's that mean? I think it's like, um, I don't, I'll have to look that up for you. So, uh, please let us know in the comments, uh, a original song that we should be checking out by Gigi Delana. Um, I think she's so good; she needs to start working on well, her, her original song. Her original songs are going to be in the, in, in in the in 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 her language. You know, it's not going to be in English. I don't think. We'll put it in the comments then. <laughs> I'm kidding. Tag along. Would you believe in me? A reverie is a state of being pleasantly lost in one's thoughts or a daydream. This is a well-written song. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's spiritual. Well, Christopher Cross, Christopher Cross in the Grammys that year won in all four major categories for this song. What's all four categories? You know, best song, song of the best year, best male performance, uh, best time, probably best, best title, best male performance. Yeah, he was. He's the first one to ever do that. And and thirty nine years later, you know who did it? I don't think I want to know, but go ahead. Who did it? Who did it? Billy Billy Eilish. Okay, okay. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. You know. You know what though? Wait a minute. Yeah. With Billy Eilish, it seems like when when that person that she cared about so much died, it's kind of um, changed her a little bit. Her thought process. Her really music. Everything's no, kind of changed. She, she goes through she 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 battles with depression, you know. Yeah, yeah. I know. She has a she she had a she has some kind of an injury that just won't go away, you know, and it's made her really depressed. I forget what what the injury was, but that's what she suffers with um depression. Yeah, I know she she mar she marches with darkness. She marches with darkness, I'll tell you that much. And but you know, she's, seen... she's she's contemplated suicide many times. Yeah. And her, but her new music seems to be a little bit more hopeful with a little bit more light in it. Um, yeah, I'm just okay. gonna say that. Right. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, Brett. <laughs> 
Cause it's not for me. You should check her out sometime. And if the wind is right, you can sail away and find serenity. Oh, the canvas can do miracles. Nice. Just to wait and see. Won't you believe in me? We go on to our last Gigi song, Honey. Do, um, do you have just a little, um, a little interlude for us? Something, uh, something nice. Well, I mean, I really love her music. Um, this is the first time I've heard her, but she, they, yeah, the songs that she chooses to sing, they're really inspiring. You know, they're really positive. I mean, what I've heard so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she sings everything though. I mean. I love well, she sings, she sings love mostly song. she sings mostly ballads, you know, but that that's why I'm so excited about hearing the this oasis. Because that's where she really shines is, is singing ballads like this. Let's see if I can find it. Where is Wonderwall? Oh. Neo because of you. I forgot what the oh here we go. Okay. Last song for GG. One, two, three, four. The heck? This is Wonderwall. Where's she? Better come. There it is. Today was gonna be the day they kind of show it back to you. Sorry, band. <laughs> Um, is she singing it or they're singing it? Somebody else. They're singing, singing it. Okay. All right. So last song. Oh, um, I, I'm with you. Who's that? Ever Levine. Oh, okay. So she sings. Um, like it's about like you haven't met the person that you love yet, but they're out there. And that gives me hope that I can find someone. Oh, honey, do you have anything? You look beautiful, by the way. Do you have anything um, that kind of fits with that, that, you know, soulmate stuff? Well, I don't know. Soulmates. Some people think that you only meet one person in a lifetime that's your soulmate. But I've been fortunate enough to meet two. <laughs> yeah, so there's always hope. There, you know, there's someone always hope. Someone like me? For everybody, I mean, if you if you if you marry and then you divorce, or if your spouse dies, you know, it's not that that was your one and only chance. You know, never give up. Always have hope. Beautiful. It's me hope. Even for Marcos. <laughs> as long as he gets out of his blank boy, get out of your fog. <laughs> Hitting, he's set in his ways. I think he's happy the way he is. And I love him just the way he is. In a blank <laughs> void? In a blank fog? Get out of there. I'm standing on a bridge. I'm waiting in the dark. I thought that you'd be here by now. Nothing but the rain, no footsteps on the ground. I'm listening, but there's no sound. Isn't anyone trying to find me? Thank you. 
She's so good at those big pop and runs and big voice. Uh, just, I love her. I love that. This is like a perfect song for her to take. An amazing song that we all know, except you know this, Martin, was now, right? Yeah, I heard, I heard it before, yeah. And vocally make it better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, she does an amazing job, you know, and and emolding the songs and, and her yeah. phrasing is a, is amazing. You know, she's just a great singer, man. You know, you know, isn't it weird that, you know, everybody gets their chance when it comes to the music industry, but we hardly ever see anybody with an Asian persuasion, you know, make yeah. it. And I kind of feel like now it's their turn, you know? I agree. There's so much talent there. You yeah, know, it is. And it's just that people know that, but they, you know, maybe, I mean, I don't know the reason why, you know, but there's so much, you know, racism in the world, you know, and that could be. In America. In America, you mean. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's hard to cross over to and go from the cover, the, you know, cover girl from the Philippines and then start making your own music and and then become uh you know an original artist uh you know and try to get airplay on american radio because uh, let's let's yeah. be honest you gotta you gotta make it in america and get on american radio to get on everyone else's radar people have yeah. became successful you know just being on you know like the uk like they've done that yeah, well, there are a lot of people in the world. You're right that that um, on their own platform in their own country, they're they're super successful, and it's really difficult for them to cross over and come over to you know America, you know, and, and bring their music, you know. And maybe that's, you don't that, need that's to. the perception. I think that's the per you're right, but I think that's the perception that people have given. But um, you know, there's an agenda in this country, you know, with, with people. And then unfortunately, you know, they're, they're, they're getting their star, you know, their stardom. You know, yeah, but but Philippines, you know, they're also, you know, there are a lot of strong Philippine Christians too, you know. Oh, so I they, yeah, definitely. Yes. So they don't. Guess. Maybe, maybe they know about the industry and they don't want to even get involved with it. Sometimes, maybe you know. True. I was going to say, Marcus. I'm sure you probably looked into the whole Philippines and and the the you know the background of the Jesus because it's it has a lot of meaning there. It's very true. Yeah. Uh, Look at how she's doing the perfect mix of closing her eyes and then connecting with us by looking us directly in the eyes and smiling. I think in this song, she's doing just a perfect job of that mix. Well, I guess, I guess it's, I'm sorry, go ahead. Come out of the void. Come out of the void. Come out of the void. Thank you. What's up, what? No, but like I said, she's also an actress back in the Philippines, you know. So she knows how to emote songs. She knows how to express, you know, get facial expressions and all that. You but know? you don't want someone acting when they're doing music. You want them to, well, you know what? It's a, it's, it's a kind of like acting, but it, it's kind of like a... Yeah. Remember when that uh, that Joker became the Joker in real life? Like... Uh, I forgot what that was called, um, where you live the character, you know, 
and you become that person. Right. Method it's acting. Embodying. It's embodying. Embodying the character. Embodying. That's a great word. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but you know what? Wait, wait, wait. They tell people, they tell these performers that they need to act. You know, they need to be bouncy. They need to be bubbly. They need to be full of life. You know, they have to show energy when they're performing, you know, in order for them to get somewhere. They really do tell them that. Yep. You're right. Um, oh, that's a great picture there. This is definitely one of my favorite you. covers. Yeah, she can really I belt see. out those notes, boy. Absolutely. She has she has excellent belting power, as they say. You know? Pipes. Yes, her pipes so are can, awesome. So she Amazing control, those, too. Yeah. Because she has a you know powerful voice, you know, for and she's you know, and she's a small person, you know, but she's got a really <laughs> powerful voice for yeah. a young, you know, for a small individual. He is but, um, he is. But um, but she's just an amazing singer. I mean, Julie Delala. But um, allow me to be cheesy. Allow me to be cheesy and say she has an awesome diaphragm. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? what? <laughs> an awesome. Well, diaphragm. I mean, oh, <laughs> that's not cheesy at all. <laughs> yeah, it's, well, it's not a diaphragm that's awesome. The diaphragm, anybody, everybody has that. You yeah, that's to, why I was being cheesy. That's why I said just, cheesy. Yeah, you have to just use it properly. Know, know how to use it properly. You know, a lot right, of singers right. don't know how to use it right. Right. But right. you know, some people would say that you you should sing from the diaphragm, yes. and others would say you should sing from the gut. But it means the same thing. Same thing. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And then and then some will say you should sing underneath the diaphragm. You know, Ooh. because you know, when I was in when I was in and you know, I went to a music high school and mm -hmm. my voice teacher, my voice teacher at that time, she said the best way to know if you're singing properly through your diaphragm is watch a baby and see how they breathe. Mm -hmm. and, wow. Yeah. Can you back up because a little? It's a little, it's a little close. Me? Yeah. Me? I'm, I'm no, sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm, it's just, uh, oh. I'm a little sleepy. I'm a little tired, guys. I'm a little tired. Marco, so Marco's is, is like, it's like, <laughs> watch a baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to check out a little bit. My hand, my hand is moving. Don't you ever come on here? I like her in short hair. That's cute. What do you guys think of that look? Yeah. You gonna do this one? Just a little, just a little. You know, when when you start on Gigi, you get addicted. The fire's in the eyes and the words are really clear. So beat it. Just beat it. Oh.
Well, that was great. I, I'm so happy that we were able to check out GG together, guys. Uh, peace and love to everyone. Uh, honey, Ann, do you want to uh, lead us out? Lead yes. us out? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Yes. Adios. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know Peace what you want me to say. Everyone, say goodbye, yeah. Marcos. Goodbye, honey. And goodbye, Marcos. Bye, darling. Goodbye, Brett. <laughs>